in case you think you're the only one that's got a tattoo, let's check out what God's tattoo is. Did you know God's got a tattoo? Yeah. I'm going to show you his tattoo. This is so good. Glory to God. God is swaggerific. Okay, 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 look at this. He has given food to those who fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. Amen. Notice this, the covenant is, is on God's mind. The covenant is on his mind. That's why he has to give food to those that worship him. He has to provide for you. Why? Because the covenant is on his mind. The covenant is on his mind. He has to show you his kindness because he cannot get this thing off his mind. Now, look at that in the Amplified. Give me the Amplified and let's just see this because we're going to work this thing just for a little bit. Look at this. Are you with me, London? Come on, Southwest Campus. Look at this. He has given food and provision to those who reverently and worshipfully fear him. He will remember his covenant forever. Check this out. And imprint it on his mind. God has a covenant imprint. He's got a tattoo of a covenant on his mind. Lord have mercy. This, this thing, you know, I know you can go and erase the tattoo, but you won't do that in two days. You're going to have to go for a lot of times. They laser you for a bit. Then it gets this way. Then after another time to recover, you go back. Come on, somebody. But, but God don't want to cancel this. He's got an imprint on his mind, that's why he has to provide, he has to show up, because even, even if he tried, the Bible says he cannot lie. That's why we found out in the book of Hebrews chapter 6, you remember that, right? He cannot lie. Why? Because he can't get this thing off his mind. 